Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Jenkins tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Jenkins CLI and more specifically, I'm going to show you how you can run your Jenkins job using Jenkins CLI. So let's get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on manage Jenkins here. And when you scroll down, you will be able to see this option which says Jenkins CLI. So once you are in this uh, Jenkins CLI section, you will be able to see this command which you can use to get help on using Jenkins CLI. Now, when you want to uh, use Jenkins to, for example, build your job or add job to view or uh, there is a list of command which you can use with Jenkins CLI, you just need to click on the specific command which you want to execute. For example, I want to execute build command. I can just click on this build command and then this is the command which I can use to build my job with some flags and the description of these flags are given here. So let's uh, use this uh, Jenkins CLI command to build a Jenkins job. So first of all, you need to download this Jenkins minus CLI jar file and you can download it by clicking on this Jenkins CLI jar file and you can save it on your uh, computer first of all. And once this Jenkins CLI jar is downloaded, you can uh, copy this uh, Jenkins CLI jar uh, at the comfortable location and then use this jar to execute the command which is given here. So let me open the terminal first of all and I will first of all create a Jenkins directory. So mkdir Jenkins and I want to move this Jenkins CLI uh, jar file into this directory. So this is in my downloads uh, folder. So I'm going to just uh, write mv and then I will uh, just move this uh, jar file which I have uh, downloaded from the downloads folder to this Jenkins folder. So I'm going to just give this command which is going to uh, move this jar file into the Jenkins folder. So I'm going to just cd to the Jenkins folder now and you can see this uh, Jenkins CLI dot jar is there. So now I can use this command to build a job. So let's uh, see what job we can build. So I have this job which is uh, Java Hello World and let's build this job using the Jenkins CLI. So the job name is Java Hello World. So I'm going to just first of all copy this command up to job and then I'm going to just paste this command on my terminal and instead of uh, job here you just need to give the name of your Jenkins job which you want to build. So the name of the Jenkins job is Java Hello World which I will provide here and then press enter. And of course this will fail because our Jenkins require the permission. So right now we are logged in with the admin credentials. That's why we need to give the admin credentials. In case you want to execute your job without the credentials, you can go to manage Jenkins and then go to configure global security. And once you are in the configure global security, there is an option under authentication. We have previously chosen this option, which is role based strategy, right? So if you want to disable this uh, authentication, you can choose this option, which says anyone can do anything and save this configuration. And once this configuration is saved, this command will work because now we don't need any credentials to run the Jenkins job. So once again, I'm going to give this uh, command and this time you can see it's successful and it hasn't given any error to us. But you can see this command doesn't give any result. It just uh, executes and then no result is printed. And when you go to the location where your Jenkins job is there on this Jenkins UI, you will see this Jenkins job is executed, but no result is printed here. So for example, you can see I have five builds right now. And when I execute this command once again, 
and I will refresh this web page, you will be able to see a sixth build is executed successfully here. So now in case you want to see the output of your build on the terminal itself, what you can do is you can go to this uh, command once again from where you have copied and you can see there are a bunch of flags you can provide. So the flag minus F is going to show you the output of your Jenkins job. So I'm going to just give the minus F flag with my command and then press enter and you can see started Java hello world build and you will be able to see uh, here also the seventh build is uh, executed successfully on the Jenkins UI also and some output is printed here also which says started Java hello world seventh build and the build status was successful. Now if you want to see more verbose uh, output you can use this flag which is minus V and you can see this flag is used with minus S. So we will uh, give this uh, flag which is minus V with minus S and then press enter and you can see started the build number 8 and you will see all the console output which you see generally on your Jenkins uh, job. So when I just refresh this and I will go to the console output here. So this is the output which you see in the console output. This output will be shown on the terminal also. Same output will be shown here. And once again, the build status is successful. Now in order to use this uh, Jenkins CLI command with the authentication, you just need to go to the manage Jenkins section once again and then go to configure global security and this time we will enable in authentication the logged in user can do anything so you need to uh, just uh, choose this option which says logged in user can do anything and you also need to check this option which says allow anonymous read access so this is important you need to check this option and this option as well which is logged in user can do anything and then i'm going to save this uh, configuration and this time with this command so let me clear the terminal first of all so i'm going to clear the terminal and with this command which we have used to build the java hello world uh, jenkins job we will use the username so i'm going to just write minus minus user name and space the username is admin in my case and then to provide a password you just need to give this uh, flag which is minus minus password and space your password so my password here is root so i'm going to give my password and then press enter and this is going to start the build you can see java hello world ninth build was uh, started and it's uh, ended successfully. So the build status is success here. So in order to provide the credentials, you just need to use these two flag, which is username, your username, and minus minus password, your password. So now let me show you one more thing, which is to execute a parameterized Jenkins job using command line. So I'm going to go to my Jenkins home here and I'm going to choose a project which I have created in the last video, which shows how to use parameters in your Jenkins job. And its name was parameterized project. Now, if you don't know how to create a parameterized Jenkins job, you need to see the last video. So I'm not going to create a new uh, job. I'm just going to use the Jenkins job which I have created earlier. So in this uh, Jenkins job, we have this build with parameters option and there are two parameters here. One is platform and other is choice. So I'm going to just use this uh, Jenkins job name first of all and I'm going to go to the terminal and let me clear the terminal and I'm going to use the same command but this time the project name is different. So instead of Java hello world, the project name is parameterized project which is this one and in order to provide the parameters you need to give the flag which is minus p so at the end just add minus p 
and then your parameter name so the parameter name i have is first of all a platform and it's better to use uh, double quotes if you have single word then uh, you can avoid these double quotes but i prefer to use these double quotes even if this is a single word string so here i'm going to just write linux now once again i'm going to just use a minus p flag for providing the second parameter and the second parameter is a choice here so i'm going to once again use minus p choice which is the parameter name and then the parameter value so for example i want to just give a c here as a choice and then i'm going to just press enter which is going to execute this job you can see the job is executed and uh, you can see it has echoed the linux uh, keyword and the c letter and the build was successful so this is how you can uh, provide the parameters to your uh, jenkins job using jenkins cli so this is how you can use jenkins cli to execute your jenkins build i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now